Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Tehmin Amjad from Northeastern University, Cori College of Computer Sciences. My collaborators for today's topic are Asma Khatun. Uh, she is from International Islamic University, Islamabad, Pakistan. And Dr. Ali Daoud, he is a professor at Her Rabdan Institute, UAE. And today's topic is mainly about the citations analysis as like the researchers, the scholars, they are mainly interested about the visibility of their work. So in this study, what we have done is we have done a categorization of the factors that can influence the received citations. And other than that, we have worked on some correlation analysis to identify the factors which have an effect on our received citations. So let's begin today's topic. Here is a brief overview of the topics that are, I'm going to cover today, one after another. So let's have a look at the background. So as I have already mentioned that this study is about the citation analysis. So what we have done is that over here, you can see in this diagram, there are some factors which are related to the documents. By document here, we mean by uh, the research articles, right? And then there are authors who wrote these articles. And then there are some scientific venues, journals, conferences where uh, these articles are published. So, so what we have done is we have studied the factors which can influence the received citations. And we came to know that there are some factors which are related to the document, which are related to the journal, which are related to authors. Other than that, we have alt metrics. So alt metrics is like about how, uh, how to analyze the impact of an article. Uh, online, like like how many times my article was being seen or downloaded or shared or things like that. So uh, these are basically the documents that we are going to talk about today in today's presentation. Mainly we have uh, categorized the document related factors. I'm going to have a more detailed discussion on these document related factors shortly. So let's move on. Sorry. Okay, so coming towards the problem. So we have seen that uh, the existing literature has uh, um, like given less, less emphasis on the content-based identification of the quality factors that can impact the articles. And other than that, uh, their categorization or classification specifically. So primarily in this study, what we are trying to do is that we have identified some some features uh, that can affect the received citations and then we have done some classification of these factors and then we have identified some correlations of these factors with the citations received by an article. So the research question, as I uh, I think I have not mentioned yet, uh, but over here, what we are doing is we have performed a systematic literature review. And for that systematic literature review, the research question was that what are the reported factors that can affect the citations of a research article? So we have studied a lot of literature and then after that study, we were able to identify and classify some of these features. So as I mentioned that we have done some classification. So these are the four broad categories, the features that are related to the documents, the articles, the papers, the publications itself, then the features which are related to the authors, authorship, number of co-authors, things like that. And then there are journal related features like uh, journal impact factor, and then there are alt metrics. Over here, this is the most important factor, 
And for this factor, we have done some further classification. We have seen from the literature that these uh, document-related factors can further be classified as some generic factors and then some quality-related factors. So, <clears throat> Excuse me, if I talk about those generic factors, there are several factors that I can name that I, that, that we have actually discussed uh, in quite detail in this article. So these are like the number of early citations or the citation window, that type of the publication, like the publication can be a review article or a proposed method. Uh, then there are like the year of the publication. This is another important factor, number of references that an article may have. This is a, also a significant factor. Title of the length, uh, sorry, length of the title of the article. Uh, then the page count. And other than that, sometimes there is a limitation on the page count that has also an influence on some received citations as per some studies that we have seen through the literature. So as in conferences, we know that there is a limitation on the page count. So this thing is also effective sometimes. Uh, and there are several other features, including the article's language. It, it is seen from, from the survey, from the literature review, uh, that as English is uh, the international language, so an article in English is basically going to receive a way more citations uh, than a paper in any other language. The end of the study is also an important factor, which falls over here in this category. Coming towards the quality related factors, which are related to the paper, uh, they involve, of course, the quality of the publication. Uh, it uh, involves or it includes the abstract or the keywords that are used, uh, the presentation of the paper, like what, like uh, how, no, uh, like the presentation, like how much readable it is. Um, how much clear it is, the clarity of the content, the paper structure. Uh, then there is novelty that falls over here in this category. Uh, another important factor is open access, like are the articles available for everyone or there is some fee that we have to pay to access that paper. So this is very significant and very important feature. Uh, and then there is a feature which is relevance to the topic, then are the papers peer reviewed or not? These things also matter a lot. Then, then the hot topic, like is this paper related to a trending topic? This is also a significant factor. So these are the articles which we have identified uh, in this category as quality related factor. So let's move on. The data set that we have used is DBLP version 13. It is collected from several different sources, um, a huge number of papers, number of citation relationships are there and the data set is ranging from 1990 to 2019. The main features within that data set, they include the ID of the paper that has been assigned, like each paper of course has been assigned an ID, then the title of the paper, and the name of the authors, their associations, like their affiliated institutes, the year of publication, field of study, their keywords are included in the data set, their abstracts are included in the data sets, and then a complete list of their references is also part of that data set. So these are basically the main features which are provided in the data set. Other than that, we have derived some more features. So these derived features include the paper title length, like what, what is the length in terms of number of words in a paper, how many authors are there, like who are the collaborators for an article, the length of that article, is this article in open access or not, how is the presentation or the paper structure, are there any hot topics addressed in that paper and we have also incorporated the length of the abstract for this particular study. So this is all about the data set. 
So this table shows some features, of course, as uh, we move towards the citation analysis, the received citations are the dependent variable and the other uh, independent variables that we are interested over here are the page count. And we are we are saying we are using the word PC for the page count, then the paper title length, TL, abstract length, author count, readability, hot topics, open access, and recency. Um, the names are like uh, meaningful. So I guess I do not need to go into all these descriptions. Um, uh, readability is about the presentation or the structure of the paper, hot topics is the trending topics, recency is about the year of the publication, like is it a recent paper or a very old paper. So uh, when, when we performed the correlational analysis, we were able to identify very interesting factors. Over here in this figure, you can see the correlation among the page count, and the citations and you can see like this is the range where you can see a higher number of citations and you can see with an increased number of pages in your article uh, there is a decrease in received citations and this is interesting like like normally we uh, assume uh, that may be like um, uh, it is a generic concept that the uh, the review articles are gonna receive a lot of citations because they are review articles and normally the review articles are gonna have a higher page count uh, so this finding is very interesting you can see with a higher page crown like the trend is like somewhat like this you can see a trend like that over here so there is a certain number of pages which are gonna give us a higher um, cite, received citations. Maybe the user or the reader is gonna lose interest uh, with a higher number of pages. So this is one of the interesting findings. Let's move on. Now we have a correlational analysis with the author count. So once again, you can see with an increase in number of authors, and there is a decrease in received citations. So there is like a typical set over here, like with this much number of authors, we have uh, from this given data set, we have identified this type of trend. So this is also important or you can say interesting. Then we have the paper title length, like is it a lengthy title or a small one? And once again, you will see a similar type of trend. So with very long article titles, you are gonna have less, you're gonna make them less attractive, right? And then we have performed the correlational analysis. Uh, between the received citations and the length of the abstract. Over here, slightly decreasing trend, but not as decreasing as we have seen in the previous diagrams. So normally, like all the journals, uh, they have a given reasonable number of words that are allowed for the abstract. And of course, normally we are gonna fall between this domain and normally uh, that is why you, you can see that there is not as such a curve or something like that, but is a slight decline in the trend that can be seen. Then we have uh, one of those, uh, what we call it, uh, the readability or the presentation factor. So over here, uh, you can see uh, this type of trend you can identify over here. You can see like there uh, for a certain uh, value, we have uh, increased citations and then there is gonna be a decline afterwards. So the readability is also an important feature. Then we have, oh, sorry. Then we have seen that the hot topics 
are also very helpful in gaining this type of uh, this type of trend you can see like the papers who are going to include some hot topics they are going to receive more citations so the trending topics are very important for improving the visibility of the work uh, then uh, when we talk about the open access like the papers which are not open access and then the papers which are open access, of course, this is a zero and a one, like, yes, this paper is available freely, then you can clearly see there is a difference over here, right? Uh, that the open access articles, there are several open access articles with a huge number of received citations. So, This is about the recency, like the year since it was published. So once again, an interesting feature, like we can assume that a very old paper is going to have, like with time, of course, the number of citations is going to accumulate. But then uh, the trend that we have seen over here is like till some certain time, you can see this accumulation of received citation and then uh, for the older papers, uh, we can see the less number of cit citations as the work goes obsolete, then of course, uh, except for some, you can say, st like uh, state of the art methods other than these, uh, other than these state of the art methods, the regular methods are not going to gain uh, high citations. So this is another interesting finding. So apart from correlational analysis, as we have uh, done the systematic literature review and we have studied a lot of literature, so we were also able to identify some uh, findings and some other challenges which, uh, which are interesting for the future researchers. So let's have a look at them as well. So what we, uh, we, what we were able to identify is that the articles, uh, quality is a very highly important factor that can influence the citations. Uh, and then uh, determining the quality uh, involves the journal-related factors, the author-related factors, as well as the document-related related factors. Some of the factors are not scientific, uh, while some of the factors are scientific in nature. So uh, so they are going to impact differently. Uh, author uh, author reputation, like age index or uh, things like that, are also going to contribute. Uh, some factors are extrinsic factors, which are not directly linked to the content of the paper. Uh, so they fall under the non-scientific category. And on the other hand, there are some intrinsic factors, like the novelty or the creativity. And they, of course, are going to fall under the uh, scientific category. So when we talk about the venue, the journals are a key source of the citations. And prestige of a journal, we have seen that, that this is positively related uh, with the received citations. Some very re reputable publishers are, of course, going to receive uh, this is just an example, uh, but with the high repute of the publisher, of course, they are going to gain more citations. So uh, we have also seen from the literature that alone, the, the, the journal factors alone cannot play a significant role, but uh, like a collection of several features are going to have uh, an impact. And uh, presenting an article in a well-known journal is, of course, going to increase the visibility of the work as well as the received citations. Specifically talk, talking about the author-related factors, we were able to see uh, that the factors like the number of authors, the age index of the author, and their reputation are very important and their collaboration has also a contribution that has been identified from the literature. Uh, the quality cannot be determined uh, just by using the information of the author. Of course, there is going to be a couple of factors that are going to determine the quality. Uh, number of authors or their age index 
uh, they do have an impact, a quantitative impact on the received citations of an article. So um, we have also identified from the literature and from the correlational analysis as well, uh, that, and like we have seen this thing, uh, that the hot topics, uh, like if an article is addressing some trending topic, so there is a high probability that the, uh, this article is going to gain some early citations uh, because the topic is trending. So it is going to catch more visibility and more uh, attention from the viewers from the viewers or the readers so once again uh, you like just uh, if we just talk about the hot topic like if we just incorporate a hot topic and not uh, and ignore the other features so hot topic alone is not going to be sufficient to gain uh, a lot of viewership so other topics are also significant Alt metrics are also an interesting factor. Uh, they can enhance the rate of the citations. They are also involved in the diffusion of knowledge. They are like how many shares were there were made, how many downloads were done, like things like that. And um, the social media is going to uh, complement all these alt metrics. Uh, combining the alt metrics with the other quality factors is definitely going to give a boost to the received citations. So at the end, we can recommend that there are several features that can be used uh, to gain more visibility, to attract the viewers, to have more citations. So some of the factors which have been uh, given less attention uh, in the existing literature are, sorry, uh, are, uh, are the novelty, recentness, uh, visibility, and factors like that. So uh, they can be investigated uh, for like more insightful features about these. Uh, more insightful findings can be identified by doing research on these features like novelty and the recentness. So this is like, this can be one open uh, challenge for the future researchers. They can, they can, they can do some research on, and on, on identification of these features, as well as on the impact of these features. And then finally, uh, what we have done so far, like we have performed the systematic literature review, we were able to identify uh, the factors, we classified these factors as the quality factors and generic factors among the document-related factors. And other than that, we have worked on the author-based factors, journal-based factors, and alt metrics. Uh, the data collection was done, and uh, we have uh, uh, done an extensive literature review to identify all those factors. And we were able to classify them, and then we were also able to uh, find some interesting correlational patterns. So these correlational patterns are going to um, help the um, listeners uh, to, uh, to decide that which type of factors they shall need to consider for their article, for their research work, so that their research work can have more visibility among the among their uh, among the people who belong to their research field so uh, this is all about uh, this categorization and analysis correlational analysis hope you are going to find something that is of your interest hope some of these features are going to help you in your future in your future um, write ups like my audience right now are all uh, like the scholars the researchers so i guess this these findings are of their interest and they can they can incorporate some of those features in their work and of course their work is going to have more visibility so that's all from my side. Here are some references. So um, I hope you are going to um, have some interesting uh, uh, 
features uh, from today's presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.